Hey guys and thank you for all your birthday wishes it means a lot to me and in today's video we are going to create this elegant logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin. So if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects as always let's create a new composition we will call it as main animation width I am going to choose 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration in 10 second long and background color is white color and simply hit ok. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title save action like this and now we will add our ellipse and for the fill I am going to choose purple color and I am going to choose a lighter purple color like this. And by holding shift I am going to create one ellipse like this select the shape layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically select the shape layer hit ctrl D press s for scaling option and let's make the scale of this to 30 and for the fill color I am going to choose somewhere around yellow color and hit ok like this now Let's select this shape layer and let's choose a little bit of darker version, not too much light, like this. Okay, this looks good to me. Now select both the shape layers, press P for position. Let's create one keyframe over here and we'll bring them totally downwards. Now zoom in a little bit, go to around 20 seconds and now let's move all of them over here, like this. And instead of that, all you can do simply go to the align tab. You can simply choose align vertically, like this. Okay now at this point i'm going to select this shape layer which is the first one and i'll bring this over here and then i'll go few frame forwards then i'll choose align vertically so it will automatically come at the center like this and select both all the keyframes and hit f9 now select all the position keyframes right click go to the keyframe interpolation and choose auto bezier we will choose linear and hit ok like this okay now we will select this one and we will select the shape layer and we will go to the graph editor we will select this graph holding shift we will move this graph over here and move this graph over here now this is for this purple ellipse now we will select this yellow ellipse we will select the position keyframes we will go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift move this handle over here move this handle over here move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so if I hit play, I'll get something like this. And what we will do, we will select this ellipse and we will select this keyframe and we will move it a little bit over here. Like this. And whenever this is going to touch this point, I'm going to select this ellipse, which is in the purple color. I'll press S for scaling option. I'll create one keyframe. I'll go to around 20 frames and I'll make it the size of it complete like this and go over here select this uh, ellipse which is in yellow color i'll press s i'll create one keyframe i'll go over here and increase the size of it somewhere around like this okay now select both the scaling keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift i'm gonna move this over here select this and move this over here like this so if you see this thing now you will get something like this okay now after that I am going to select this ellipse, I will press Ctrl D to duplicate it and by holding Alt and open square bracket, I will trim this like this, hit U, let's go over here and we don't want any position keyframes for this one so I will delete it and we will decrease the scale of it somewhere around like this and we will go to the fill and with the help of this picker I am going to choose this purple color like this, ok. So we'll get something like this and uh, you what you can do you can bring this a little bit forward so it will animate a little bit later like this. Now after that what we need to do uh, let's move this a little bit over here again because we have to do certain things again. So now what I'm gonna do after around somewhere around this I'll select the first keyframe I'll hit ctrl c ctrl v also ctrl c ctrl v the first keyframe. We will select this much portion and we will go to the graph editor. We will select this graph by holding shift. I will move this handle over here. Select this and move this handle over here again. 
so now if i see i'll get this kind of stuff now we will select this portion and we will bring this forward like this like this okay and now i want this purple thing should regain the shape of zero initial uh, lead so what i'm gonna do i'll select this keyframe i'll move this over here and i'll select this keyframe and i'll move this over here now initially it should be zero so let's make it zero completely like this also at this point it should be zero like this okay let's move this over here and over here it should be zero so let's make it zero okay so if i see this animation from the start i'll get something like this now after this point i want uh, certain things should start animate from over here so i'll create another composition i'll call it as circles animation and hit ok now i'm going to create one ellipse with the help of this yellow color and hit ok and by holding shift i'll create one ellipse like this press ctrl key to open the project settings and we will choose something called let's say purple color so we can see properly i am going to select this ellipse i'll press ctrl alt home i'll go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically we'll select the shape layer we'll press p for position let's create one keyframe over here go to somewhere around 1.10 frames and move this out of this composition somewhere around like this select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here so we'll get something like this now right click new and create one null object select the shape layer and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press r for rotation let's create one keyframe over here go to this keyframe and let's make it 180 rotation so i'll get something like this and instead of that uh, you can select this keyframe and you can move this a little bit forward like this okay so instead of 180 let's make 360 which means one complete rotation so we get something like this and let's increase the rotation again and let's see what we'll get like this and if you think the animation is quite fast so you can increase the duration of it so you get something like this okay and if you want to change the graph you can do that also you can select this keyframe hit f9 you can go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift let's move this handle over here and let's see we will get something like this okay so select both the keyframes i'll hit ctrl shift c to pre-comp it and i'll call it as only one uh, and hit ok press r for rotation alt click on this rotation property and open brackets close bracket go inside this type rotation open and close bracket type 0 go forward hit plus and type let's say 20 maybe and star and type index ok and now after that i'll hit ctrl d few times until i'll get something like this okay so if you see we will get this kind of stuff now by holding i mean by pressing page down button i'll move one keyframe forward and if you want you can do that also and otherwise all you need to do simply adjust it uh, randomly like this you are free to do that also like this uh, so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this now let's double click press f4 and enable the motion blur for this shape layer so we will get this motion blur also like this now you can go to over here and if you choose white color let's see what we'll get get something like this and we'll get this kind of stuff over here now hit ctrl a to select all of them press ctrl shift c and hit ok and hit ctrl d and we will bring this extra copy over here you can press s and let's increase the size of it up to 1 110 
you can go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect on it like this and you can change the color of this one to somewhere else now let's go to the main animation i'll hit ctrl 0 and i'll bring this circle animation over here and i want these things to start animate at this point so i'll move this over here and i'll bring this downwards like this but if you see this animation is looks quite weird over here this is because initially we need scaling animation for this one so i'll select this shape layer i'll press s initially let's make the scale zero hit keyframe hit page down button three to four times and now we will make the scaling 100 and select those keyframe and hit f9 so now if i see this we will get this along with the scaling animation and you can move this a little bit over here also okay so if i see this animation i'll get something like this and then i'll get something like this now we will create ellipse and by holding shift i'm going to create one circle i'll select this ellipse i'll press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center i'll go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this now at this point i'm gonna move this over here let's move this somewhere around over here now I, at this point i want this to start to animate so i'll select this i'll press s initially let's make the scale zero let's create one keyframe go somewhere around over here and let's make this complete 100 like this select those keyframe and hit f9 now go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift let's move this handle over here select this and let's move this handle over here so you'll get something like this and you can move this keyframe a little bit forward like this and let's try to move this over here okay now select the shape layer i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it now select this and let's enable this option not this but uh, we want we don't want any stroke for this one we want i mean we don't want fill and i'm gonna choose stroke with white color and stroke width initially let's make this 100 and then let's go to the start and in search option i'll type stroke and i'll create one keyframe hit u go over here and let's make this zero and also increase the size of it select the stroke width and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so we will get this kind of pop-up animation let's move this over here like this and we'll bring this downwards okay now uh, in this uh, circle you can type whatever logo you want like for now i'm going to type only one letter like let's say c and choose some different font let's choose let's type him let's select this ellipse press i mean the text i press ctrl alt home i'll go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and for the color of this i'm going to choose this one only and i'll make it apparent with this shape one so it will start to animate along with them like this so if i see this animation from the start i'll get something like this okay then uh, if you want then you can do certain amount of things over here also like you can create one background elements over here and uh, if you know uh, we have one stroke layer over here you can simply hit ctrl d to duplicate it and you can bring this at this point and hit u and let's go over here and let's increase the size of it and you can select those keyframes and you can move them over here also
so this is how you can create simple shape logo reveal animation inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned